Hi, so here we are in my bedroom and we have Cleo here on the bed and we have my kitty star. <laughs> She's checking out the camera bag. So I wanted to show you uh, what the Pleiadians told me to do here. So I was waking up in the morning and I was feeling very tired even though I got plenty of sleep and I just felt really not off in the morning. And so what they told me to do is to add in some crystals around my bed. So my bed is a metal frame which you, you're not supposed to do, I found out. Uh, because of the energy, uh, it is a so like a conductor. So I believe that's the word I'm looking for, where it sort of ab absorbs energy. So you're not supposed to do that because of five G and things like that, but. What they told me to do was to place crystals in the corners of my bed. Now, I would have placed them at the bottom, but uh, underneath the bed. However, my cat, who's in the, out on the window, uh, loves to play with crystals. So we're not going to put them on the floor here. So what I did is put them underneath the sheet. So I have here a amethyst. And so I put amethyst in each corner of the bed. However, I didn't stop there. I also put around here in each corner as well in the middle here. Uh, a rose quartz and a smoky quartz and in the pillowcase here there's a rose quartz there should be a smoky quartz in here too here it is Okay, so I put those in the pillowcase and I also have here a smoky quartz which I place here. I have here also a amethyst crystal. Okay, now the uh, Pleiadians also advised me to place black crystals, dark crystals in the window cells. So as you can see, I have here a pyramid, shungite, and then I have a um, organot. How do you think what they were called? An organot there with the flower of life the flower of life secret geometry symbol here's the other window and we have my dog here Cleo who um, is checking it out uh, where I have another Shanghai say cube here to, they described how energy comes through the window, and so this helps block it out. And as an empath, I'm very sensitive, so this is to protect myself from energies that would interfere and infringe. Okay, so now we're over here where the TV is, and you're not supposed to have a TV in your bedroom, and I am guilty. Uh, this was actually a TV that I did not buy, but my mom did before she passed away, and so she never got to use it, so I am using it. So here it is in my bedroom, 
and the Pleiadians said to place a black uh, crystal here, so I have a smoky quartz, in front of the TV. I also unplug the TV when I'm not using it because it's, you know, it still uses electricity and it still has um, electromagnetic um, energy coming off of it. There's Mother Mary. <laughs> I connect with Mother Mary. Uh, I was told that she is one of the um, like fractals that are fractalized off of. So, beautiful. Also, my mother's. Um, okay, so yes, I placed the smoky quartz there. Alright, now we're going to head into the den and I'll show you what I did there to protect my energy while working. Okay, so we're in the office here. This may look excessive with all the crystals here, but as an empath, I am trying it out. I was directed at least to put the smoky quartz around the computer. But the Pleiadians did say to add in some happy, this is the way they put it, happy crystals. <laughs> all right, so with the smoky quartz here, I was told to put one around each edge here of the computer. Okay, I also have a shield here, electromagnetic shield underneath, which I found on Amazon. I think it was about $50. Uh, it seems to work pretty well. I'm very, very sensitive to laptops. <laughs> Um, mine's not too bad, but my sister's computer, I like, ugh, I don't even want to touch it, really. Um, so, uh, with these, um, you want to place, these are really, I, I love these big, um, smoky quartz here. So with the points, I am placing them going towards the computer, going towards the electronics there and there so it's going towards the electronics not towards me because I am shielding I want the them to block it out I don't want I'm not blocking myself <laughs> okay and then we have here I have here a amethyst which is always good for protection I have a rose quartz I have a clear quartz, a spirit quartz, which is amazing. I just discovered these. This is so high vibrational. It's so tiny, right? But you, I can feel it. It's very um, high vibrational. And it's supposed to be a protector stone. And then I have an ar argon Argonite? I think that that is... I just got this. But it is um, supposed to help you with your confidence level and your self-esteem and I believe helps with like, creativity. I have a tangerine quartz. And this helps with playfulness. And I have here citrine. Citrine is always very um, a happy stone. I think the happiest stone, at least that's what I would say. And I have a green of entry. I have another amethyst. And I have a fire quartz, which is good for maintaining your, your energy so you're not drained. Uh, it is uh, good for your, your sacral chakra, which I think that I 
do uh, need to, you know, balance. I would say that that's maybe one of my weaker uh, chakras. So that is my setup, um, at least for now. <laughs> it may be kind of excessive with all these crystals. And yeah, maybe I am, you know, doing too much here. But I am, you know, just noticing that I was feeling kind of drained. And I also wear bracelets here. So I have a shungite bracelet and I have an amber and shungite. And I work with clients uh, on and off throughout the day. So that is why <laughs> I am protecting my energy so much. But also the computer because I was... Uh, the way they kept saying, my guides kept seeing the internet. They said, I am affected by the internet. Um, they didn't say the computer, but they said the internet. So, um, and then the Palladians recommended I do this. I also got some Psychic Cleansing Spray. Fiery Wall of Protection for Art of the Root, which is an amazing company. They're a bit pricey, but I do recommend them. Uh, I, I like the, the cleansing spray more than the protection. I don't... I mean, I do feel the protection, like, when I spray it, but this, this is just seems more powerful. And I spray this after, after my clients. Um, also, you know, just another tip, you do want to smudge on a regular basis with Sage. Sage is just very, very, very high vibrational, and I do use Sage to cleanse my crystals. So this is my current setup here, you know, for the bedroom and also here for my work area. And like I said, it might be kind of excessive. I don't think you would need all these crystals. Um, I was doing pretty fine with one smoky quartz and the citrine here, but I did order more to go around. So, if anything, I would say if you're going to minimalize here, I would add a citrine, uh, a amethyst is always good, even just a little, doesn't have to be big, little one. So a smoky quartz, a citrine, and an amethyst is a really good setup, I think.